Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and you're watching 60 Cycle Hum. Uh, it's a Monday, it's kind of the end of the day. I felt like doing something weird and wacky. So I pulled out the Omec by Orange Amps uh, and I've plugged it into my iPhone here. The Omec is an interface pedal. You can put it on your pedal board wherever you want it to be before or after effects, before your amp, put it in the loop of your amp. I don't care, do whatever you want. It allows you to interface with technologies like your iPhone, I'm pretty sure your Android, your computer, all sorts of stuff. Anything with a USB cable, I think it can work with. Uh, so let's just have some fun and get weird with it. This is what my guitar sounds like without the Omec on. I'm using Big Red right here. Go look up this guitar on this channel. I did a video about it. Uh, now I'm gonna turn it on and it's running through this app on my iPhone called MIDI Guitar 2. It allows you to dial in all sorts of piano and synthy and bass sorts of sounds. Let's see what it sounds like on the bright piano setting. It works, it gets a little quirky here and there. It's one of those things where you definitely have to play to the device. Uh, you have to be aware of what it's gonna do. If you're bending a string, or like, I just made a little bit of noise. So it's gonna act funny. <laughs> but I think it's a pretty cool and useful tool. There's fun stuff you can do with it and there's a lot of sounds locked into like an app like this. I mean, there's all sorts of apps you could use. I think you could even use this to like direct record like what you're playing direct to like GarageBand or some other recorder or something like that. I mean, the sky's the limit. As creative as you can get plugging in various technologies. Uh, I just like saying technologies. It sounds like a really fun goof. But anyways, let's just go through some of the settings here on MIDI Guitar 2. Uh, there's a bunch of piano settings on this uh By the way, I'm on the polyphonic setting. There's a monophonic setting. It gets weird when you try to chord it. That's worth the price of admission right there. Here's his uh, back on polyphonic. School piano. Sounds pretty good. This is my favorite setting, the broken setting. Let's go to the next bank here, MDA GX10. That's pretty dang cool. Uh, you might have seen the little screen pop up. Yes, I'm still using the free trial version of this app.
There's a lot of different effects in here. Oh, gangster wine. <laughs> Free trial. If you've got a song that just needs like one weird synthy part, you don't need to hire a synth player. You don't need a new uh, member on the band. Just pull up one of these things, man. That's a bunch of fun. I have noticed that uh, this thing doesn't talk well uh, sharing power sources with other pedals. I'll plug in the looper that I've got on the floor right now to the same power and maybe you'll hear that little bit of uh, electric whine or electric noise, whatever it decides to do this time. Maybe you can hear that. It's like this modem noise. Uh, right now it's sharing a one spot daisy chain together with a ditto looper on the floor and nothing else attached to it. Uh, it does this with all sorts of other pedals. It, I think it just needs to be on isolated power or some power supply or something like that. It's something to be aware of. I've gone through plenty of these settings and there's plenty more. I think I'm just going to do some looping now and get crazy. I think you've seen what this can do with this app. Uh, it's wide open to possibilities with all sorts of other apps. Go check it out. Get one if you want. Explore what it can do. Maybe it can solve some problems for you. All right, let's get weird and loopy.